Hey guys, I'm the Mac Cupper. This is a video showing you guys how you can bring back life to your Pebble Watch. Soon you will see on the left, I'm currently resetting it because I've done this video many times trying to figure it all out. Um, this video will be showing you guys how you can revive your Pebble Watch. Uh, if you're like me and you had a Pebble Watch back when it was, I got mine like a year before the server shut down. Um, but if you had a Pebble Watch and you want to use it, you still can. Uh, in this video is essentially, in, in this video I will essentially be showing you guys how you, you how that's possible. So uh, there's a service called Rebel Pebble. It's spelled P E B B L E. This service is R E B B L E. It's pronounced Rebel, like the Rebellion. They call themselves the Rebellion, like uh, the Rebel Alliance, like in Star Wars. Anyway, um, so you go to Rebel.io. Uh, it used to be pebble.io uh, and then you click join rebel this won't work for me I'll go I'll show you your options in one second rebel.io so you click join rebel and then you'll be asked to sign in with an account or some of some type I used my Google account and then you get this screen in order to continue please head to boot.rebel.com and so as you can see on my phone right now I'm on that site um, but keep this open uh, let's not get too ahead. Um, so first off, you need to set up your Pebble. So uh, open the Pebble app, uh, and then it, make sure your Pebble's inside. My Pebble is right here. Uh, my Pebble is over there, which is why I'm out of frame. Uh, so click OK um, to that. Let me remove the Pebble so I can put my screen recording up on the screen. Um, and give it a couple seconds, give it, I think it said like 15 seconds, and there will be a skip button in the upper left hand corner, and then you're able to go ahead and get started. Alright, so click skip, uh, and then it's a bunch of just continues, hit continue, select your pebble, mine's the pebble classic, and then you just gotta wait for it to uh, connect. It takes, doesn't take long at all, and reset. I didn't forget my pebble in my Bluetooth settings. So, uh, select an accessory, give, wait for a sec, and then it will pop up and you'll see on the pebble here there's this here uh, just click the, t the press the up button which is check and on your phone click pair and then my watch just vibrated saying pairing, su uh, pairing successful so and now it's saying it's paired good job uh, and then give it I'll speed through this it's just a time lapse, a time -lapse. this isn't a time lapse um, but it's just download installing the software essentially Alright, so right now it is done installing the updates, now it's just going to reconnect. This shouldn't take too long, but yeah, you just gotta wait. Alright, so on my, yeah, there we go. I just looked at my watch and it, so I saw it was connected. So right now, uh, just leave your watch, your Pebble watch, set language as English. I'm going to enable notifications. Uh, and this is another thing where you have to press the uh, little check box, uh, yeah, check mark there. Um, grant access, I want that to push notifications. Grant access, I would like the Pebble app to send notifications. Uh, and then location data, grant access. I'm going to do while using app. Calendar, grant access. I don't think this works with Rebel, so for this, for text replies, you have to uh, click skip or you'll just be on a screen and like 15 seconds later it'll ask you to you'll get an option to skip um, so yeah so add new watch faces and apps in the Pebble App Store additional configuration can be done in settings sadly that's not the case but with Rebel it is possible I just did this earlier so what you do here uh, I have the steps on my computer right now uh, I just did this like 30 minutes ago uh, so you go to auth.rebel.com, this is essentially here, um, you can, uh, uh, I'll leave all, every single link in the description, uh, you can get started now, which essentially takes you back to boot.rebel.com, so first off, go to settings, help, and then update your Pebble just to make sure it's up to date, 
this screen will go away real quick. Um, and then dude, I th thought there was a... Alright, so go back here to the website and click switch to Revel, click open, and then click change. Uh, give it 50, or right there, you see in the upper right hand corner, I'll circle it with my editing app, the little exclamation mark, tap that, and click log in. And then, um, all set, you're ready to revel. You made it, Jordan Gregson. You're now ready to revel. To finish up, to finish up, tap the button below. It's revel time, and that is awesome. Now I have all of my watch faces, so I can set, I'll put my watch face up here, just like, do that and that. Oh, the screen didn't light up. Um, but anyway, so I'll set, I like, I like this watch face. Let's set this as my active watch face. I didn't like add this on or anything. This is with Rebel. This is an official. It's like the niche. It lists out the time in words, and then you have the date at the bottom, which I think I really like. This watch face. This is one of my favorites. Which other ones do I like? This is not the one that's that has the weather, and the weather is not supported. I will get to that in a second. I li I do like this one too. I might actually stick with this watch face. There we go. So, all right. So the thing with the weather, um, you can go back to here, and you can see I'm on my computer. If you can't tell, um, uh, in order to continue, please head to boot .rebel. We did that, um, but then you can also manage your subscription. Uh, so I think you, you can also do this on your phone. But what this is, so a subscription, pay three dollars a month or thirty three dollars a year. Um, you can, at the, with the rebel services um, you get you get access to the app store essentially the app store that might actually might be it but with the subscription the three dollars a month the thirty three dollars a year you get access to weather um, voice input no dictation sorry and then it's just like faster um, like refresh times on your timeline on your pebble but I don't really need that stuff, so I haven't bought it. But if you really like your Pebble watch, you don't have another. Like, I, I'm currently wearing my Apple watch. I have an Apple watch, which has all that stuff built in, because it's Apple. It costs money for the weather APIs and the, the dictation stuff. And it also supports the team. But yeah, anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, showing you guys how you can install Rebel on your Pebble watch. and revive your Pebble watch uh, in 2020. Make sure, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Um, it makes me f realize, like, who, like, are these videos good, are they bad, that type of thing. And also make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content and you like tutorials like these. Um, yeah, so that's about it. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.